What's going on guys, Chinese guy here. Now today I will continue with my main battle tank analysis and this time on the rest of the drivers and locks. I will break down these stats and the details of each of the unlock and hopefully give you guys my opinion on it and help you guys to decide on which unlock is the best for you. Also if you haven't watched the previous parts I will link it down below in the description for you guys to check out. So let's just quickly hop right into it and we first have the IR smoke which is the default countermeasure. When the IR smoke is activated, it fires canisters of vaporized brass and graphite particles which interferes with tracking of hostile missiles and laser designations. It will instantly break lock-ons and spoofs incoming missiles, but wire-guided and unguided projectiles are unaffected and will remain as a threat to you. It has a jam time of 7.5 seconds, a protective radius of 20 meters, and a reload time or cooldown time of 17.5 seconds. Now if I had to give you a tip for using the IR smoke, I would say sit still in the cloud of smoke so they can't lock back onto you because I have seen so many people deploy their IR smoke and just run away. I say that could be the biggest mistake you can make while using the IR smoke because it's not as effective when you are out of the protective radius. Next in the countermeasure section, we have the smoke screen unlocked at 29,000 points with the main battle tanks. When this is activated, it will release a thick cloud of smoke that surrounds the vehicle impairing target acquisition and makes it harder for incoming missiles to achieve precise critically damaging shots. Weapons like javelins and laser guided missiles in none of their laser form are unaffected. It has a jam time of 7 seconds, a protective radius of 4 meters, and it takes 5 seconds to reload. I will use this attachment or unlock when I use it to run away. It does work very well and I have lost sight of players because of this, but I personally don't use this because I play very aggressive with the tank and I need things like the active protection to protect me from tank shells and RPGs. Next we have the fire extinguisher unlocked at 49,000 points with the main battle tanks. It is an integrated fire extinguisher system that clears the vehicle of any critical states and starts the vehicle recovery. It may only be deployed when the vehicle is in a critical state and it will remove any problems and if the vehicle's health is below 37% it will restore it to that number. It has a reload time of 25 seconds and in my opinion it's probably not the best option but it's best sometimes if you use it to get out of sticky situations when your vehicle is immobilized or is heavily damaged by RPGs or something. The last unlock in the countermeasure section is the active protection unlocked at 69,000 points. When this system is activated it will sense incoming missiles and rocket threats and detonate them before they reach the vehicle. Then the system will enter a cooldown state after a threat has been neutralized or no threats have been detected for a short time. It nearly destroyed all incoming projectiles at, during the active protection's activation. On the other hand, it will not break lock-ons and will provide no visual cover. It has a jam time of 5 seconds, a reload time of 25 seconds, and I would say it works very well but I kind of feel like it's a bit short. The cooldown time seems to be a bit too long but that's because it has to be balanced. It helps you block one or maybe two tank shells if you're lucky, which can be the deciding factor of live or die. The next category of unlocks we have is the optics section and we first have zoom optics which is the default unlock for that section. It is a basic optic enhancement that provides a magnification of 3 times when activated and I would say it just really helps you to shoot at long ranges with the tank. Then we have the IR and V optics unlocked at 21,000 points. It is an enhanced infrared night vision that will make key signatures easily visible at close to medium ranges. At 42,000 points with the tanks, we have the thermal optics. It is a black and white night vision system that shows heat signatures across all ranges. And I would say the IRNV optics and the thermal optics are basically the same thing but with a different color scheme. Lastly, we have the last category of unlocks for the driver side of the main valve tank customization and we have the upgrade section. 
First, we have maintenance, which is the default configuration. It is a maintenance procedure that will help your vehicle recover from damage more easily. And then we have thermal camo at 7,000 points. It is special plating that increases the time it takes for targeting system to lock onto your tank. At 32,000 points, we have the auto loader. It is an enhanced mechanism that reduces the time it takes to reload. Last, we have the reactive armor unlocked at 50,000 points with the main battle tanks. The reactive armor absorbs some of the shock from the incoming attacks requiring more hits to deal higher damage to count as critical. Anyways, that sums it up for this main battle tank driver unlock guide. The main battle tank gunner guide will be coming out very soon so stay tuned to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and a comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. I will continue to strive for being a source of Battlefield 4 videos. Peace out guys.